Okay, so this year, 2020, has obviously been a bit different. Um, haven't really been able to uh, go out. Actually, not because of COVID, but because I've had uh, bike trouble. Uh, and because of COVID, the repairs have taken months rather than what it would have been days. But I still have the advantage of it being in the fall and I have the Finger Lakes. So I'm going to do the Finger Lakes. And this is what I call the COVID cut. You know, the barber shops are open, but it's just kind of uncomfortable doing a mask. And yeah, why not grow long hair occasionally? So off we go. And here we are exploring one of the nice places in New York. Uh, a lot of people don't realize there's a lot more to New York than just New York City. And the Finger Lakes are one of the nicer regions of it. Uh, it's great for wine, uh, growing wine. There are a lot of wineries around here. There's a lot of other small business here. Pretty much a vacation area, but now it's turning into more of a wine area and kind of an area where you can come and visit. Uh, some people stay like a week or two, or even sometimes they even have like a summer cottage here. These, these lakes are really nice. They kind of look like fingers on a map. And this is Cayuga. Gander. Let me get a view of uh, what goes on down there. Let's look at it. I'm at, at a small park slash boat launch. There are already people out on the water. I uh, can't tell you if they're fishing or just recreational, but I'm not a fisherman, so I, I don't really know a lot about the subject. But I know there are fish there, and they do fish. This is Cayuga Lake. Uh, I'm sure I'll look up some stats on it, but I don't really know a whole lot. I mean, other than it's here. 
But you can see we're in the nice uh, fall motif. So, this is my be on my day, riding around. I'm gonna stop for lunch at some point and just kind of enjoy kind of going around enjoying a great little ride. It's gonna be in the uh, high 70s, so great riding weather. And not only that, it's a weekday, so it's gonna be low traffic. Gotta love it. Woo! <laughs> I mean, you can see the other side. And uh, I guess it might even be possible to swim across it if you really wanted to. I mean, it's fresh water. Personally, I'm a fresh water fan, not a salt water fan. I don't know, I just I just don't like how, because uh, I, I just, because the salt water, you, you can taste it and I just don't like that. And I also like, I don't like the way it feels. Fresh water, I'm a lot better with. Maybe it's because in the ocean, yeah. Just not an ocean fan. I'm a I'm more of a lake fan. I do like that view right there. I mean that 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 really looks nice. There's not really a lot of history to the Finger Lakes. Um, most of them are just named after Indian tribes that were in the area. So there wasn't like anything really major. Like a little north of here goes the Erie Canal, which a lot of people have heard about, which kind of opened up the West more because uh, the major, the fastest way to, to move was by uh, water. So the Erie Canal was very, but that didn't really involve the Finger Lakes. There was a little place of commerce here, like a little bit, because there's fishing, there's a lot of hunting in the area. There's even a little bit of skiing in the area, like not too far. Not really great skiing. You're not gonna, like the places that are up in the Adirondacks, which obviously are a lot better, but there is stuff for like, uh, you know, people in the Rochester and in the Southern Tier in this area. You can go here. And it's and it's pretty much just a, like a vacation area. If you want to do some nice sailing, you know, if you like being by the water, but you don't want to be by uh, an ocean where you have like real waves and real tide, you don't get that. I mean, you can have ice fishing here. A lot of people love their boats. This is uh, definitely a huge vacation area. These are the views you can see. Nice fall weather. So we'll head on down there and get a closer look. Some of the things you can see on Cuca Lake. Mm, look at a little sitting area.
here we are another park uh, this is right at the the base of the falls the falls themselves are right way over there and I'm I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised how, much, how many people are here uh, they've taken up like all the parking that's close so it's like a pretty good hike in order to get out there so I don't know I mean, I've seen plenty of falls before, and I've got it here on video, so. I don't know what I really gained by going there. I guess I could try. Maybe if I park close, then we'll look at it. Uh, if I if I get a really close to the I don't know. I can't. Oh, well. You know, I'm just, I've seen so many of them. This is what I'm really here for. Look at this. Look at this. This is this is just fabulous. People getting ready to fish. The real fun here. The real fun is is, is obviously riding and just seeing like the trees. And the change with the lake, I mean, and, and the wineries along the way. It's just great. And then you're seeing the weird people who've got masks on and they're nowhere near anybody. Yeah, but hey, each their own. If you want to do that, you're, you're more than welcome to. Just don't, bug, if you don't bug me, I won't bug you. Thank you.